everybody loves me and I don't know why. Hey YouTube, welcome to an episode of uh, Josh Man Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing uh, the Hakes XR Air Power Hakes Air Power XR 200 Chainsaw protective boots I've been wearing these for about oh I don't know we're wearing them about six months six months now and I uh, do quite a bit of quite a bit of groundwork you know I'm mostly in the bucket truck or spider lift I have done some some climbs a few climbs on these boots and uh, so just kind of giving my overall uh, impressions letting yeah, you people know see what you think um, but uh, my I think I I bought them uh, from treestuff.com and uh, I read reviews on the Hakes website, and I think there was a few reviews positive on tree stuff. And uh, my uh, overall first impression, first impression of these boots really wasn't that good. Uh, I wore them for a couple days, and. Uh, my feet were starting to hurt. So I wore them actually about a week, five days, a week uh, working a lot of, you know, a good fair amount of groundwork. I come down after I'm out of the bucket truck and help the crew catch up. And some of my coworkers might be like, don't believe a word out of his lying damn mouth. He don't do no groundwork. He does. He does. He helps them. He helps them catch up. But uh, feet were hurting after a week. So I went to my local, uh, boot supplier store and uh, bought some I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put up pictures of like the products you know uh, as far as like the boots what they look like uh, in newer better condition and uh, so I went and bought some my previous boots again I'll put up a picture where Timberland Hi T Timberland Pro Series Hyperions And I love them boots. I ended up uh, buying uh, a pair every year. So three pairs of I've, three years, three seasons. I wore in uh, Hyperions, but I was looking for a change of pace. I wanted to get some chainsaw protective boots. And I was looking around. I, I tried to get the Fanner uh, Zermatts, I believe, but they weren't no, no longer uh, carrying them at Tree Stuff. I was bummed. And so I think uh, what were these? Three twenty. 314 or 320 probably put that uh, picture up from the tree stuff website And overall impressions my feet hurt after a week. I didn't quite I was kind of disappointed And then so I went and bought uh, Timberland Pro Series anti-fatigue insoles and put them in there and what a world of difference again same insoles that are in my uh, Hyperions and they're really comfortable. I love those boots. Those are waterproof Vibram soles These are just uh, hakes like whatever the Hakes traditional soles they are thick thicker so uh they don't absorb the cold as much as like the Hyperions did We're, like uh as you see there's snow snow and whatnot uh their feet are pretty toasty warm right now and they these are extremely waterproof I've worked a few uh good good soggy rain days and my feet always stay dry so that's a plus and uh, their overall like feel of the construction feels really rugged. I think they'll, uh, I think they'll last quite a long time. But what steered me in the direction of these was that these are uh, seven-inch boots. My Hyperions were uh, sixes, so that was one of the drawbacks with my uh, Hyperions is they're six, and when you're wearing climbing spikes, the at, at, after a couple hours it seems like the strap on my climbing spike would ride up and start chafing uh the back there back of my calf below by the ankle there so these i do like that with wearing spikes like i said i wore spikes a few times in them not a whole terrible lot 
I could feel more pressure on my arch than I did in the Hyperions. Like the Hyperions are impressive for uh, spurless climbing, rope walking, and uh, and for spike work, uh, use. So if I could get the moral, I guess, to this is like a kind of, I wouldn't say two, two thumbs down on these boots because they're quality. They feel quality for sure. Uh, it just, I don't know, uh, like not quite two th thumbs down, one and a half. I mean, almost, it's almost a fail because for the price at like 320 or so after taxes uh, is kind of not a, it did not feel worth it to me. So I, I was just doing some looking and there's like no videos on these boots. I was kind of hoping that there would be something like some more i could go off and so hopefully i can help uh with this review i don't know if they're designed uh for maybe more flat-footed folks or something but they were like extremely uh i thought like flat and i just was not impressed with the they're really thin i'll put up a picture probably of the timberland insoles side by side to the ones that came in these boots i still have those and maybe you know they were just really thin and no support and i wasn't a fan these are a little stiff. I mean, I think it was like two weeks they kind of broke in. These are a little bit of a stiffer one. So that I, another plus is they do have wicked ankle support. Because this doesn't really flex here in the middle. It flexes enough, though, for like this stuff farting around on the tree. But, um, yeah. So I just thought I'd uh, put that out there. I was meaning to tell some of the guys that follow me. Uh, they were curious about those boots we talked about them months ago. And I don't know if I ever really let them know or not. I can't remember. So I just let everyone know about these uh, boots that my personal thoughts and impressions are. Like, I wouldn't recommend them. I will not be buying another pair of these boots. I, uh, maybe I could do an update, a little follow-up uh, one day as far as, like, when I'm maybe retiring them. Let's see how long they go for. I, can't, I think it's been a, a good six months now with them. And, uh... So, there you have it. I, I thank you for watching. Supporting the channel. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe. Always definitely appreciate that. And comments. I love comments. Either, uh, you know, constructive criticism. Or support. You know, help, uh, help support and inflate my, uh, my, my already uh, inflated ego. Luckily, I do have a uh, a Class A CDL with air brake attachment, so I can haul around that that ego of mine. So it can it could do with some more inflating people. So hey, everybody loves me. And I